Hello everyone and welcome back to my F1 2021 Custom Formula 2 season for round 7 in Monza. So uh, this is always a great track for some Formula 2 action and we need some action uh, at the front of the field uh, in this one to get ourselves back in the championship fight. We've been slowly clawing our way towards the uh, front once again. Uh, we're in second position at the moment but still uh, a way to go behind Yuki Tsunoda. Uh, who leads the championship, qualifies third this time as we take pole position and the four points that go with it, so those will certainly hop us out uh, in that charge towards the top. But uh, with that said, uh, let's get into the race and uh, see if we can come away with a win. Welcome everybody to the heart of Italian motor racing, Monza. We're here with Formula 2 for what ought to be an extravaganza of excitement and action. Let's head to the start line and get underway. Monza is situated 12 miles northeast of Milan. It's 3.6 miles long and offers 11 corners. Seven of those are chicanes, putting a premium on good braking stability and traction. With a good slipstream plus the two DRS zones available, there should be a number of good passing opportunities on offer. Turn one at Monza is famous, or should I say infamous, for serious contact and incidents, especially on the opening lap. What are your thoughts on that, Davide? Yes, this chicane is a tricky one. A lot of time you see the more experienced drivers all back from full throttle to keep themselves safe as everyone tries to squeeze into the racing line after the opening straight. We're almost ready to go then, and this is what the starting grid looks like for today's race. Great work from Sean Galeo yesterday sees him start from pole, with Mick Schumacher alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Sonoda, Lungard, Giuliano Alesi, and Schwartzman, Sato, Matsushita, Aitkin, Luca Giotto, Dragovic, Joe, Roy Nisani, and Mazepin, Armstrong, Eilot, Tictum, and Jan Deruvula, Delatrat, PK, Samaya, and Artem Markolov completes the grid. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. So as you may have seen on the grid sequence there, we sit 31 points behind Sonoda in the championship. So uh, we have some work to do in this one if we want to close that gap. So here we go then to the five red lights. And it's lights out and away we go for the feature race here in Monza. And it's a decent start for us though. Schumacher just slightly better. Sonoda uh, not quite getting away quite as well as uh, the field behind him. He's going to need to watch out as we head down into the first corner. Schumacher goes down the inside as we leave the space for him there. And uh, as we struggle on the exit, Schumacher gets a nice little one uh, around the outside line. And he will take the lead as we head through Curve Grande for the first time. And can we make a re-overtaking move potentially into the Dele Roger chicane as we head towards the uh, chicane for the first time down the inside of Schumacher but we can't quite get there and Schumacher will hold on to the lead for the time being and we just have to settle for second position uh, at the moment but uh, we will uh, refocus and uh, try and regain the lead uh, throughout the remainder of this race a long long way to go so uh, there is plenty of chances for us to retake first position but uh, for now Sitting in second might not be the worst thing as we can uh, just get up to speed. We've got a decent gap behind us as uh, Sonoda and various others were fighting as uh, Marino Sato uh, retires with a mechanical failure. Sonoda actually got a pretty bad start uh, in the end and uh, ended up dropping places. So uh, he has work to do uh, to uh, come back from that. He's uh, already re-overtaken Alessi and uh, now sits in fourth position behind Christian Lungard. So uh, as we continue on, uh, we're not really looking forwards, instead we're looking back. I uh, don't quite have the pace of Mick Schumacher at this stage of the race. We did just set a fastest lap, so maybe the pace is starting to uh, come through for us. But uh, at the moment, I'm uh, more concerned with Christian Lungard behind than I am uh, with Schumacher ahead. So uh, as we continue on though, uh, those uh, concerns soon go away as we uh, do uh, eventually start gaining ground on Schumacher. And now we'll be able to uh, look to uh, shape for a move as we head along the main straight the RS open for us and that should make it relatively easy to uh, fly past the German as we go to the outside towards the first corner and we'll make that move nice and easy uh, on the left hand side gives us the inside for turn two but uh, we actually got uh, a little bit too much curb there sent us wide and Schumacher got a brilliant switch back there 
and is able to power straight back past us, but we're still close and we might be able to re-overtake Schumacher into the Della Roger chicane. So here we go then towards the uh, second chicane on the circuit. We're not going to get close enough though, and Schumacher's going to hold on for the time being and we'll re-settle uh, ourselves in second position, but still a decent gap back to uh, the third place runner. We continue on then, and we still can't quite make the move on Mick Schumacher. We're trying to set up a nice exit here though, uh, towards uh, Kevin Grande and the Della Rocha chicane, uh, and uh, trying, re over trying to overtake him there, seeing as the first corner is not proving to be uh, very fruitful for us. So here we go, sitting in the slipstream, as we have a look around, and we've got to go for the move down the inside of Mick Schumacher, and uh, we will slide on through there and make the move stick on the German in the Prima and uh, we uh, find our way up into the lead of the race once again and back where uh, we started on the grid uh, into first position so now we just need to try and push away from Schumacher uh, before uh, he has a chance to re-overtake us there's a DRS over here, it's not the most powerful on the circuit uh, the one on the main straight is the big concern but uh, for us Schumacher actually gets a good run out of the Ascari chicane has a look up the inside, we're leaving the space and uh, he will probably uh, appear on the right of screen momentarily but uh, we managed to hold him off and uh, maintain uh, the lead once more but Schumacher still sitting behind us as uh, the pit window is now open in this race Schumacher now trying to make the move as we head towards turn one Schumacher to the inside and we'll see if we can try and outbreak him into the first corner we go too deep though and out over the runoff and uh, we have to uh, Take the escape road there, re-enter the circuits uh, very slowly and safely. And uh, now we're battling away uh, with Christian Lungard who's pulled alongside and he has overtaken us as we made that mistake. So as we continue on, uh, we need to try and re-overtake Lungard, but uh, first up we need to make our pit stop and uh, maybe we'll be able to get the undercut uh, on him as we uh, make a slightly earlier stop than the leaders. So uh, that'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Uh, in the uh, rest of this race and then see if we can gain any advantage we're very lucky not to get held up uh, because there were cars around us there but uh, thankfully uh, we uh, were not uh, held in pit lane any longer than we needed to be and uh, we can push on to the end of the race now on these tyres and uh, see, where, see what we come away with uh, by the end of uh, lap number 30 so uh, still a long way to go we've only done about a third of the race so far so uh, still plenty of action left to play out. Sonoda makes his stop on, uh, I believe, the very next lap. So uh, it won't be uh, too long until we find out uh, how it uh, all plays out for those. But that's Schumacher. He's being held in the pit lane, so that's a disaster for him. As he got stuck in traffic. Sonoda also has jumped Mungard, so it's a great pit stop by the Carlin team. And uh, they've given uh, Sonoda effectively the race lead here as uh, we go flying past. So uh, he drops into second. But it's the lead of that pack for Yuki Tsunoda. So uh, that's a great effort by him and the Carlin team to uh, jump Christian Lungard as well as Mick Schumacher, uh, who, as I just mentioned, was held in this pit box. So that's unfortunate for Mitch, Mick Schumacher. Uh, just the timing of the cars going past, uh, not going well for him. But uh, for us then, we continue on as we make a bit of a mistake through the Ascari chicane. And uh, that, uh, combined with the pace Tsunoda's had, uh, is uh, going to give him a run here. Sonoda has been very, very quick and he makes a move straight past us uh, along towards turn 11 and uh, there's nothing we can really do to defend from that. Now we try and switch uh, back to make a nice exit out of Parabolica and we will pull alongside Yuki Sonoda once we have the DRS advantage and we will be able to re-overtake him towards the first corner surely as uh, we are very, very close behind him and we will go straight on past with the DRS and uh, we'll be able to make that move stick on Sonoda and that puts us back up into the lead as uh, everyone now has uh, made their final stops and uh, it is a straight fight uh, to the end uh, between all of us on the medium compound tyres. Uh, Giuliano Alesi is still running well in fifth position uh, it's worth mentioning as well but uh, as we continue on this is Christian Lungard going down the inside of Sonoda and that's a very opportunistic, opportunistic move at the second Lesmo and he's going to continue this fight as they go side by side along the back straight and Lungard round the outside of Sonoda. He's going to have to be late on the brakes here if he wants to pull the move off, but he's going to do it. And Christian Lungard round the outside of the Ascari chicane is going to get the move done. And he gets ahead of Yuki Sonoda as we 
go a little bit off track there in the foreground. Lungard now takes the lead along the main straight with the DRS advantage there as we try and fight back to the outside. Lungard defends as we go around the outside of turn one, inside of turn two. Maybe a light bit of contact there, but uh, no, nothing to worry about. And we have to slot in behind Lungard as he was very quick on the exit and we couldn't match his traction. But uh, along it towards the Del Roger chicane once again, we should be able to make a move here down the inside of Christian Lungard and we will get through on the Dane uh, once more and find our way back up into first as uh, we uh, tick off the laps here. Uh, we are uh, almost at two thirds distance but still plenty uh, of laps to go. We need to try and push on and uh, get away from uh, this pack behind us uh, but at the moment that's not really happening because we keep making these little mistakes. There's another one on the exit of this garage again, a big slide there as we touch the curb and uh, that's going to give another good run to Christian Lungard and we, uh, we can't defend from that one at all and he goes flying straight past us so once again we're going to have to re-overtake the Dane and uh, you can see we're very close once again behind him uh, through the final corner and we will uh, get the advantage of DRS as we head along the main straight and that should see us past him relatively easily so uh, here we go then to the left hand side and uh, we will zoom on past Christian Lungard laid on the brakes around the outside and we get past the Dane in the ART car and that puts us back up and into uh, first position uh, now on lap 21 uh, of this 30 lap race so we have officially ticked off uh, two thirds distance now continuing on again then and uh, we continue to look back uh, at the fight uh, behind us, uh, Schumacher and Sonoda have switched places. Schumacher's back up to third as we continue to fight with Christian Lungard going deep there into the first corner. And as we run wide actually through turn two, that's going to give that opportunity uh, to Christian Lungard as uh, he sits behind. But I don't think he was really able to do anything with uh, the run he had. And now he's fighting away with Mick Schumacher as they head uh, towards the uh, Della Rocha chicane side by side. We cover the inside uh, to make sure none of them make a move on me. But uh, now Lungard and Schumacher fighting it out and uh, that's going to give an opportunity to Yuki Sonoda as well as the fight goes on. So uh, we'll see how it plays out for them. But uh, for now we've held on to the lead once again. And, uh, informed of an incident which has resulted in lots of loose debris on the track. The safety car is being deployed. Oh, safety car out. There's an incident on track. So uh, let's see what that is. That is Guan Yu Zhou. A huge crash along the straight there. Guan Yu Zhou losing control of the UNI Virtuosi car. And that is a big crash at the end of the main straight. And uh, we'll go on board to see exactly what happened. He was in the slipstream of another car there. And uh, we'll see... Uh, what went wrong? Something clearly uh, went wrong with uh, the car there. He uh, had a big wobble in a straight line and uh, he had no option but to dive straight into the wall. Uh, and uh, that is a big one for Guan Yu Zhou. Here it is again on replay uh, from a bit further back. And uh, yeah, just in the slipstream there, uh, something has let go on that car and has flung the car straight into the wall. And uh, that is Guan Yu Zhou out of the race and uh, a few people uh, pulling over there to uh, see uh, if he is okay after that one. So uh, that is great to see, but uh, Roy Nassani uh, first on the scene, good reactions by him to uh, okay, not the uh, make the incident any worse. The field in sector three. Make sure to respect the Delta until the safety car is in the pit lane. So that brings us to the end of the safety car period though, as we uh, immediately skip there. And uh, now we need to make sure we get a good uh, exit out of the final corner as we are the leader we need to get a good uh, a good restart otherwise we could be in big trouble on the front of the first corner it's uh, a good chance to get a slipstream and uh, we don't want to give any uh, advantage to Christian Lungard uh, or Mick Schumacher or even Sonoda you never know uh, they're all going to be very very quick so here we go out of the final corner and we actually put a little bit too much power down a big slide and that's really going to ne negatively affect our uh, restart as uh, Lungard now has the run on us as we head towards the first corner. We've got a bit of a gap, but Lungard's got the momentum on his side. And he's closing and closing and closing. There's nothing we can do about it. We cover the inside, but Lungard is still so close behind us. We go deep into the first corner, too deep. And we have to uh, run over all the curbs to try and uh, keep the cart pointing in the right direction and uh, join safely back onto the road. But Lungard is through on the inside. We're on the outside through Curve Grande. And Lungard is going to hold that position. We slot in behind. We try our best to uh, keep the nose in down the inside. And we will retake the lead into the Della Roger chicane. 
and uh, put Lungard back down into second position and uh, that will uh, hopefully uh, be the end of that fight and uh, we should hopefully be able to uh, continue uh, to lead this race through to the end. Now there's really not long to go. We're on uh, the penultimate lap, 29 of 30, as uh, we are really uh, pushing through the Lesmos there. But uh, yeah, that has uh, banked up the field behind us a bit and uh, hopefully they can start to squabble as uh, we head towards the final lap of the race and uh, that should hopefully uh, be able to uh, relieve the pressure from us uh, if they do so. But uh, a bad exit out of Ascari once again and that's going to give Lungard a perfect opportunity to go down the inside and we can't defend from it. Our exit was that bad that Lungard is well clear as we head towards the final corner. Schumacher is down the inside as well as we try and hold around the outside of the German and we will stay uh, in second position but Lungard is in the lead now as we head on to the final lap but that might not be the ideal place because we will have a nice slipstream along the straight and that's going to give us a huge amount of speed advantage. Schumacher's coming with me as well as we try to make the move to the outside and we will get through Schumacher trying to look to the uh, other side there but wasn't able to make the move on Lungard but uh, we did and we got back through into the lead. So it's myself, Lungard, Schumacher, uh, and then Yuki Sonoda. But uh, they're going to continue to fight as Schumacher goes around the outside of Christian Lungard. And they're going to run side by side as they go towards the Della Roger chicane. Sonoda looking uh, keen to take an advantage there as Lungard slots in behind uh, uh, Mick Schumacher. Sonoda now has a run as they head towards the Lesmos. And Lungard looks like he's struggling at this point in the race. It's the final lap and he is clinging on to a podium position at this stage but Sonoda, look how close he is behind Lungard. This could be a great opportunity for the young Japanese driver to get back onto the podium in this one. Look how close he is behind Lungard. He goes to the outside as they head towards the Ascari chicane. He's going to try and pull off the same move Lungard did earlier on in the race and he will do it. Round the outside goes Yuki Sonoda and that's a fantastic move to get him back up onto the podium. And Sonoda up into third. Lungard goes from first to fourth in the space of a lap and we are going to head towards the round the final corner to take the race victory here in Monza. We had to fight for it, but uh, a pole and a win, and we will not quite get the fastest lap, unfortunately. Yes, we do actually on the final lap. Yes, you've done it. Well done. And uh, that was a uh, very uh, lucky a couple of extra points there for us. As everyone else was fighting so hard, we did manage to sneak that fastest lap back uh, on the final one. It's been coming for a while, this one. What an excellent win for Dams. Tell me, Davide, what was the key to this success? The difference was in the strategy. Good to the driver, for sure. But races like this really drive home how much of a team sport this is. They did a lot of work on the pit wall to really make the most of each stint and to make the best use of the tires. But that said, all of that would have been for nothing without a talented hand on the wheel. And I can see our drivers making their way out now. It's been a sublime team performance and it's the culmination of a lot of hard work. Dams are your winners today. So we win. The Monza feature race, Mick Schumacher finishes in second position with Yuki Tsunoda in third. Now, Davide Valsecchi, let me ask you, who is your driver of the day? Difficult call, but I'd say Marcus Armstrong. He was committed the entire race and it's paid off with the result. After all this drama, you'd be mad not to join us for the next race. We hope to see you then. Take care. So there we go. The end of the feature race here in Monza. And uh, that uh, for us couldn't have gone uh, much better in terms of the end result. Pole position, fastest lap, and of course uh, the all important race victory. But uh, we really had to fight for that one uh, with Lungard, Schumacher and Sonoda uh, all fighting away with us. Uh, that was actually a lot of fun that race and uh, really enjoyed uh, getting into the fight uh, with uh, all of them. But uh, in the end, uh, we managed to come out on top uh, ahead of uh, Schumacher uh, and Sonoda. Lungard, unfortunately, really dropping away at the end on that final lap. He looked good uh, for you know, a win or at least a second place, but he just kept finding himself in the wrong place at the, at the wrong time. Sorry about that. And 
it uh, yeah just didn't really uh, go his way in the end and uh, he ended up dropping uh, to fourth I believe so yeah unfortunate for Lungard there but uh, nonetheless uh, we probably not going to be too concerned about that he's not really in the championship fight so uh, we don't really need to worry about uh, how many points he's scoring uh, same with Mick Schumacher uh, I think he's third in the standings but he's quite a way back so uh, again we don't need to worry about him it's really uh, become a two horse race between myself and Sonoda and uh, the gap between us uh, has uh, decreased once again I believe it is now 19 points uh, so we uh, cut back that uh, lead he had uh, by uh, 12 points uh, in this race it was 31 uh, and now it is uh, 19 it was 35 coming into the weekend before we got the 4 points uh, for pole position uh, the team championship still probably not looking too great because uh, unfortunately our teammate has not been uh, doing uh, so well but uh, one day I'll have a good teammate in uh, a Formula 2 season uh, maybe I'll have to uh, pick uh, a Kramer uh, as, as a uh, team in uh, the next game or, or in the next uh, Formula 2 season I do uh, so we actually have a chance of winning the uh, team's championship but uh, nonetheless a lot of fun in that race and uh, we hopefully will be able to uh, back up that result in the sprint race uh, because the weekend uh, is uh, only just beginning still plenty left to play out and uh, we have plenty of work to do if we want to uh, actually uh, stay ahead of Sonoda he'll have a better grid position than us in the sprint race so uh, we will need to work hard to make sure we beat him once again because he has been very solid and we're back after yesterday's feature race the top eight drivers have been reversed on the grid setting up some exciting action as we launch into today's event the sprint race Alongside me in the commentary box today is, of course, former GP2 champion Davide Valsecchi. How does this current crop of drivers compare to your days in the sport? Well, obviously, the championship I won was the most competitive in the history. But no, really, the drivers we have in the race today are just of an unbelievable quality. The top teams in Formula 1 know that these are the next generation of world champions. And you will see some of that quality for sure today. All right, so here we are on the grid then for the sprint race here in Monza and uh, nothing to talk about in terms of strategy. So let's just get straight into it as we go to the five red lights. And it's lights out and away we go for the sprint race in Monza. It's a great start for us, a bad one for Yuki Tsunoda. Great one for Mick Schumacher who swoops from left to right as he looks to make moves down the inside into the first corner. We're going to see if we can follow him through as he's later on the brakes. A lazy late on the brakes around the outside. But look at Schumacher. He's gained so many places. That's at least three into the first corner. Maybe even four if you include Yuki Tsunoda as well who uh, he started uh, just diagonally behind uh, of. But uh, now we uh, are still fighting ourselves. Uh, away there with Christian Lungard and we do get ahead of him and uh, now uh, we need to try and tr chase down a, a Lacey but Schumacher that was an absolutely spot on uh, from him uh, off the start and uh, he has gone from seventh on the grid uh, all the way up into third now so that is unbelievable stuff by the German and uh, he is looking good uh, for a podium here already in these early stages with a start like that but uh, We'll see how it plays out. He did have a great pace in the previous race, though. But uh, back focusing on our own uh, race, we need to make moves uh, early on in this one and uh, make them quickly. So uh, in light of that, Giuliano Alessi up ahead at the end of the first lap. And uh, we will make the move down the inside into the first corner from a long way back as Alessi defends late in the piece there. But we will get ahead. Uh, of the Frenchman and uh, we, nice get, work. That brings uh, you up place. we uh, get up into P5 and uh, now we stare at the back of Marcus Armstrong's car as uh, we continue to fight our way through the field and now run on Marcus Armstrong towards the first corner this one should come a little bit easier as we're much much closer to the rear end uh, of the Kiwi's car and uh, we get up the entire Marcus Armstrong up in, into fourth position 
with uh, only uh, Schumacher, Matsushita uh, and Robert Schwartzman in front of us. Schwartzman leading the way at the moment with Matsushita in hot pursuit. But uh, now we catch up uh, to Schumacher. You can see Matsushita actually uh, making a move on Schwartzman. Matsushita goes to the lead as we go to third. And uh, it's a uh, double bad corner for Kramer as uh, both of their cars lose the position. And uh, we find our way up into third. Uh, we had that overtake on Mick Schumacher, Matsushita, now the race leader as we chase down Robert Schwartzman. We have a little look to the inside there, but uh, nothing really uh, to do there. And uh, we remain behind uh, the Russian for the time being. A bad exit though out of Ascari, and that's going to give an opportunity to Mick Schumacher. You can see the extra straight line speed that he has as we head towards Parabolica. And he's going to make a move to the inside. We'll see if we can hang it around the outside uh, of this very long corner. But we go a little bit wide and that's going to allow Schumacher straight through. But we should have a good slipstream along the main straight. And uh, that might help us stay in contention with the German as we head towards the first corner. Once again, we have the DRS advantage this time as uh, we head towards the inside. Schumacher covers all the way to the line. We go to the outside later on the brakes and we will get the move done as uh, we get the damage indicator there. Not sure what that's about, but anyway, we get ahead of Sonoda, maybe a bit of contact, but we clear the German and uh, we find our way up into third once again as Schwarzman is still putting the pressure on Matsushita. So these two have uh, not separated themselves, but I think Matsushita maybe just slightly has the pace advantage here uh, around the Monza circuit. We go up the inside of Schwarzman. He leaves us a bit of room, but we do not take it. We back out of that one and uh, we live to fight another day. We just didn't quite have uh, enough presence on the inside to keep that fight going, so uh, we let that one go, and uh, we will try again uh, later on. So here we go, as we uh, catch up to Schwarzman again. We were very late on the brakes there, and uh, a little too late, and we lost out uh, in terms of time there, as we made a mistake through the Ascari chicane. So uh, still a few mistakes here and there, but uh, overall, been fairly uh, fast throughout this one and now we will make the move on Schwartzman into the Della Roger chicane puts us up into second position and uh, with only one car ahead of us the win uh, is definitely possible here as Matsushita defends all the way to the inside we go to the outside of the Ascari chicane and we'll get through for the race lead here in Monza and uh, we are looking good for a double victory potentially here but uh, Matsushita is not going to give up easily as he sits in the slipstream. He's going to have a look to the inside to head towards Parabolica. Once again, Matsushita down the inside as we're late on the brakes, potentially a bit too late as we just wander slightly too wide and is going to get through and we'll sit uh, in the slipstream of the Japanese driver once again. I don't want to battle too much and I don't want to let Schwarzman back into this fight, but uh, if uh, it means we have a chance of winning, I'm going to keep the fight going. So uh, it's a bit of a, a dichotomy at the moment, but we continue on down the outside of Matsushita and he's late on the brakes, very late actually towards the apex there and uh, he does a great job to hold on to the position as uh, we had to uh, lift off and let him go and uh, lose time once again. We continue on and uh, instead of putting the pressure on Matsushita, uh, we are actually being pressured uh, by Robert Schwartzman and Yuki Tsunoda who are both very very quick. Schwartzman to the inside at the final corner. We're going to try and hold this one around the outside and we will uh, maintain the position ahead of Schwarzman but uh, I don't know how long for because uh, those two are looking very very quick so here we go then along the main straight we have DRS but so will Schwarzman and Sonoda Schwarzman goes to the outside we don't actually open DRS uh, this time as Schwarzman gets past but blocks us as we run into the back of him as he cut us off in the braking zone and that is why you don't move uh, in the braking zone because that could have been a nasty incident. Thankfully, it's only front wing damage uh, and we are not out of the race, but uh, that uh, could have been nasty. And I'm surprised Robert Schwartzman got away with that. But as we continue to run side by side with Sonoda, we're going to switch it around to the inside and try and retake this position. I don't know what the exact condition of the front wing is, but it seems like we can work with it for the time being and uh, we will do our best to get to the end of the race uh, with this front wing. It's so close to the end that it's not really worth making a pit stop, so uh, we will uh, just have to push as hard as we can and uh, make sure we get the absolute most uh, out of this uh, damaged front wing that we have. But uh, Sonoda ahead of us at the moment. We're going to see if we can come back again towards uh, the Ascari chicane. The straight line speed doesn't seem to be affected by uh, the damaged front wing, so that's good. Uh, for us uh, in terms of defense but uh, through the corners and just uh, staying close to other cars it is just not going to work so uh, we need uh, all of the downforce that we can get for those things so uh, 
yeah, right now, uh, the main priority is just to try and hold off uh, as many as possible, and uh, if we can, uh, try and uh, get Yuki Tsunoda to finish further uh, down the field to uh, increase our uh, points gain. Right now, he is the car behind us, and uh, we're only be gaining about two points on him, so it's uh, a little bit uh, frustrating at the moment that uh, we have a chance to beat him here, but uh, thanks to Robert Schwartzman, uh, that chance has uh, all but been lost. So, uh, yeah, it's unfortunate, but we're going to continue to fight on and do the best we can. We may still have a chance if we can uh, drive well enough and you can see that's exactly what we've done there, focusing on the exit more than uh, trying to keep the track position has actually uh, given us a lot of speed uh, along this uh, Curve Grande section and now Sonoda's going to have to defend but uh, we're going to go to the inside as he uh, decides okay, against the defense and uh, we will overtake Sonoda uh, through the Dale de Roger chicane and we'll find our way back up onto the podium uh, putting Sonoda back into fourth, Schumacher still in a fifth position and uh, watching and waiting for any opportunity uh, he can to nab a podium position but uh, for now as we run a little bit wide out of uh, the second Lesmo that's going to give an opportunity to uh, Yuki Tsunoda once again he gets past we sit back in the slipstream of the Japanese driver and uh, we have to uh, make a very aggressive uh, re-overtaking maneuver but we did make it work just about and uh, we will uh, find our way back up into third uh, once again, but Sonoda with a good run as he has a look to the inside towards uh, Parabolica. Uh, once again, Sonoda up the inside and we're going to have to leave some room for him. As we run side by side, Sonoda gets through. We slot in behind uh, once again, uh, but we will have the uh, DRS assistance uh, or at least the slipstream. I'm not sure who uh, got a DRS there. It is Sonoda, but with the slipstream, uh, it's enough to keep us in contention. Uh, and we're tucked in right behind him. It's powerful enough. Uh, to give us the same uh, straight line speed advantage that DRS does as we go to the outside, pinch Sonoda to the inside and uh, we will try and make the move stick through turn 2 but Sonoda with a good exit but uh, it's going to be side by side then uh, as we head through Curving Round 8 once again and Sonoda is uh, going to uh, just have a slight straight line speed advantage there and we slot in behind but maybe a chance to make a move to the inside Sonoda defends all the way, we have to almost go to the white line to make that move but we do and we get back ahead of Sonoda up into third position once again but uh, now as we continue on uh, there's more and more cars getting involved in this train and uh, we need to start being uh, quite careful uh, about where we place our car because uh, we're not just defending from one or two cars we're defending from an entire train at uh, that time it was Giuliano Alessi getting through but uh, he actually goes straight into the pit lane so uh, I'm not sure if he made a bit of contact with someone uh, on that lap but uh, Nonetheless, uh, we continue to fight uh, in this one. Uh, Schumacher gets through once again, uh, as well as Sonoda. We're three wide into the first corner as we're late on the brakes, trying to keep the fight going on the inside. Round the outside we go this time in the exit, and uh, we will get the best traction. Uh, the outside line seems to work through the first corner, uh, getting the car straightened up earlier. Sonoda uh, towards Ascari, though, trying to come back at us, and he's going to go down the inside, but he's uh, not... Uh, aggressive enough on the brakes we leave him a little bit of room just in case he was still there but uh, we're able to hold him off once again and uh, stay ahead of Yuki Tsunoda so uh, it's uh, getting a, to be a very heated battle uh, between all of us uh, at this stage of the race and uh, Tsunoda through once again on the exit of Parabolica but uh, in the slipstream we might be able to stay in contention here as we head towards the first corner uh, again on the uh, 20th lap of this 21 lap race so we only have to defend for two more laps as we get back past Yuki Tsunoda around the outside into the first corner but too late on the brakes and uh, that is uh, not actually going to net us penalty I was sure uh, we'd be in trouble for that or at least get an illegal overtake but uh, somehow we managed to uh, avoid catching the ire of the stewards on that one and uh, Sonoda does get back past us anyway as we were so slow uh, along at that straight. Back up the inside of Sonoda into the Del Roger chicane. And a cheeky little move there to keep us in contention. But uh, now, what we really need to do is uh, continue uh, to drive like this. Continue to uh, stay on the racing line through the corners as that is not what we just did there. Running wide through the first Lesmo and Sonoda down the inside. And we're going to try and hold it around the outside of the second Lesmo. Uh, and that affects Sonoda's exit. Uh, more than ours and uh, he is a little bit compromised in the straight line as we have the DRS advantage towards the outside line into the uh, Ascari chicane we're going to try and outbreak Sonoda around the outside and we will just about do so and we will gain that position on Yuki Sonoda as he was uh, 
going to uh, always back out of that on the inside. In fact, he's lost another place there uh, to Christian Lungard. So uh, that is uh, a double whammy there for Yuki Sonoda as uh, we now go side by side with Lungard into the final corner as we're about to start the final lap of the race. Lungard has managed to take uh, back uh, fourth position in this one as uh, we now run side by side uh, with Nick Schumacher and Schumacher just inching ahead as well. Lungard correction is actually up into third so he might get that podium he missed out on last time as we sit in behind uh, Nick Schumacher and we're going to go for the move down the inside of the German and we're not going to be able to compete with Lungard so he's uh, definitely going to finish ahead of us so Lungard looking set uh, for a podium barring uh, any further issues for him but for us we're just about managing to hold on to fourth position uh, right now and holding off Schumacher, Sonoda and the whole crew behind them but uh, it's those two that have been uh, putting the pressure on consistently for this uh, entire back uh, section of the race but uh, we are uh, thankfully uh, given a bit of a birthday present there while they were fighting a bit but uh, it's not enough because Schumacher gets through we have a little look back up the inside but we can't quite get there and Schumacher's going to hold on to that one as we just have to slot in behind and uh, we now need to watch out for uh, Sonoda Pass uh, further up the road no such issues for this man Nobuharu Matsushita has been the fastest car throughout the entire race and he is going to win the sprint race here in Monza. Great drive from Nobuharu Matsushita, but back on board with us. And Sonoda's trying to get to the inside. We give him a big squeeze right to the inside of Parabolica. We leave him some space through the corner as we run wide, but uh, that has actually allowed Luka Giotto through. Where's he come from? As we do manage to stay ahead of Yuki Sonoda, but uh, we lost a lot of places in the process. All right, race over. Take care of the car on the way in. Oh, what a... Uh, Changeable race that was. I think that's a good word uh, to describe it, I think. It wasn't always plain sailing today, but a very important win nonetheless. Davide, what do you think made the difference here? Although the Formula 2 car are all the same spec, the winner just looked better out there. It would have been a combination of getting those tires up to running temporarily faster and driving to the condition of track. They made it look easy out there today. And look at that. They're making their way out onto the podium now. Great race from the MP Motorsport team. And I'm very happy to see them up there on the top step of the podium. So Nobuharu Matsushita wins the sprint race here in Monza. It'll be Robert Schwartzman in second position with Christian Lungard in third. Now then, Davide Valsecchi, who would you say was your driver of the day? I have to give it to Sean Galeol. Consistency, good buttons, accessible driving. He can be pleased with that performance today. That's it for today's race. From Davide and I, it's goodbye. And we'll see you when Formula 2 returns. Alrighty then, that brings the Formula 2 weekend in Belgium to... Uh, in Belgium? In Italy? Uh, to a close. Uh, well, there we go. Um... Uh, that last race was frustrating, especially towards the end when we did that. No grip uh, with the damaged front wing, but uh, there was no point in uh, coming in for a pit stop at that point uh, because we were never going to uh, get those places back if we did. So, yeah, staying out was always going to be the better option unless maybe there was a safety car, but that never happened for us. And, uh, yeah, we didn't have that opportunity, but... Uh, yeah, just a frustrating one because I know we could have done a lot better if we didn't get that damage uh, just uh, here. Uh, this moment, Robert Schwartzman cuts us off. I don't think he realized Solo was there. He didn't realize that we didn't have anywhere uh, to go uh, if he did that. And uh, uh, yeah, that uh, damaged our front wing. So uh, just a racing incident, I suppose, there. Uh, but at the end of the day, he did move in the braking zone. So... Uh, I don't know, I guess uh, it's up to you to decide uh, whose uh, fault that one was. Maybe I was a little bit too late on the brakes, but I wasn't expecting Schwartzman to cut me off. So, uh, yeah, it's a bit of an interesting one. But uh, anyway, other than that then, uh, we uh, did our best to uh, hold off as many cars as we could with the front wing damage. I mean, you look at the state of it. Um, <laughs> there was uh, not a lot of downforce being uh, generated 
uh, by the front of this car but nonetheless we try to maximize what we could and uh, we still come away come away with points uh, and more points uh, than Yuki Sonoda so it's not all bad and uh, we closed the gap to the championship leader uh, down to just 17 points I don't know how we got away with this one we definitely uh, gained uh, an advantage there but uh, nonetheless uh, very uh, interesting weekend overall good that we closed the gap to Sonoda not so good that we definitely could have done a lot better and we were involved in uh, a few incidents in the uh, second race but uh, these things happen and uh, we'll move on to the next round uh, where hopefully we can have uh, a cleaner run so thanks so much for watching feel free to give me some feedback in the comments and I'll see you next time when Formula 2 returns